a former FBI informant charged uh, with lying to the FBI, those claims he made about President Biden and Hunter Biden's involvement with the Ukrainian company Burisma, the man Alexander Smirnov, he, he's been rather pivotal to uh, the allegations from the chairman of the House Oversight Committee, James Comer, not to mention numerous Fox primetime hosts, uh, that there was evidence that Biden benefited to the tune of millions of dollars from Hunter Biden's business dealings. Um, what's your reaction to this allegation, or rather this indictment? <laughs> Well, I'm, uh, Jake, I'm not at all surprised. I mean, you know, uh, whatever uh, my Republican friends build impeachment inquiries on or, or whatever they build this sort of edifice of MAGA outrage on eventually turns out not to be true, including, you know, as you pointed out, the whole underpinning of the president should be impeached thing turns out to be, uh, you know, uh, largely resting on, on, on lies. Now, uh, you know, I wish I could say that that's going to make a real difference here because what we know is that you can impeach somebody without any crimes, uh, without any misdemeanors, right? Because we just saw the impeachment of uh, Secretary Mayorkas. You know, maybe my Republican friends don't like the way he's doing his job, but they, you know, failed in that impeachment to come up with a single example of a high crime or misdemeanor. So, yes, shocking, but not at all surprising, and I don't think it'll change the narrative around here.